This is Brandon Tan, Pokemon Go's number one player. He set countless records, caught every shiny to exist, broken Pokemon Go's in-game XP tracker, and miraculously uploaded videos daily documenting it all. And today we're in Singapore to sit down with him in a never-before-seen deep dive of Brandon's Pokemon Go account, including his Unreal stats, favorite Pokemon, and the incredible story behind it all. Okay, we're here. Brandon. Ooh. Mystic forgot how to do an introduction, sorry, so I'll start sorry. with that. It's okay, man. <laughs> he forgot how to do YouTube. Dude, how have you been? How have you been? Doing good, man. How are you, man? So good. It's been yeah. it's been years, man. I I always think about the the. Do you remember GoFest, like the first ever GoFest? Yeah. Okay. In 27, 19, 18? 2017. 2017. I have a really funny clip where everyone's screaming and yelling, and I'm running through the crowd, and the then you Lugia. run up and the, yeah, the Lugia, Lugia, the Lugia, and then you run yeah. up and you're like ah into the camera. That's like what am I? Dude, Rocking I was like flash that. Gym. That was the first Lugia raid in the world, man. Yes. Yeah, yeah. First yeah, yeah. Legendary raid ever, so right, like, right. that was cool. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. dude, awesome to like be able to sit down with you and chat with you again in your home country of Singapore yeah. as well. First of all, welcome to Singapore, man. Yeah, yeah, thank you. This is like it's so good. To be, we, we were here a couple years ago. Was fun for Safari Zone, and now we're back again. It's in a different place this time, which is cool. All right, so that'll be fun. Okay, so we wanted to hop into your account because obviously, like you have done things in game that people can only dream of. XP count, Stardust count, amount of shinies, like. I also hear you've transferred a lot of shinies in your day. Oh yeah, I was just mentioning to Mystic7 and, and Gilly that I've transferred probably around 2,300 shinies. 20, I don't even have 2,300 shinies. <laughs> like that's, so yeah. we're gonna like jump in and see everything and, and I'm, I'm curious. And you're you're actively playing now. Yeah. Lucky Egg down, Incense down. And the Lure down also for us, man. Is that you? Did you thanks. Oh yeah, man. man. Good looks, dude, good yeah. looks. I was gonna lure it up, my bad. That, yeah. was, that was my bad. That was cool. Okay, so for, for the first thing I wanted to look at, obviously the big biggest thing is lifetime XP. You know what? I'm not even going to be the one touching my iPad now. Okay, okay. I told Mystic7 I have a surprise for him and that is for me to take over the mic Nice. and for him to take over my iPad and for him to do whatever he wants. If he's going to transfer away my shiny, my shadows, my whatsoever, please go ahead to do so, man. It will help me to save space. Go ahead! Uh, go ahead! Imagine! Oh my god. Yeah. I'm gonna do that a couple times. You guys know what to do if that happens, yeah? <laughs> All right? Please subscribe. <laughs> yeah, right. right. <laughs> to both of us, God. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, also, Branton also does YouTube videos as well, so mm -hmm. check out his channel. His link will be in the description. You daily upload. Yeah, do Which daily. is incredible considering, again, what we're about to look at in the account. So, looking at your XP, mm -hmm. I did want to ask a question as we look at it too. So your motivation to grind and play the game, where does that come from? Like why why do you play so hard and have you played so hard over the years? I would say that when I started playing in 2016, I just liked seeing the numbers going up. Eventually, you know, when it slowly went up to like over a hundred million and over a billion, I just continued and continued. But eventually once I hit two billion, I actually slowed down. But eventually when remote raids came, you know, the XP just kept coming in from remote raiding. Right. Now it's ready at three billion, four hundred million. Oh my, three point yeah. I mean, also, you literally <laughs> broke Pokemon Go's XP counting system. All right, you became negative at one point of time, and <laughs> yeah. then eventually they had to fix that problem. Did you know that was going to happen before you hit 2 billion? No, actually. How no. confused were you when you hit 2 and it was like started counting backwards? Yeah, I was like, what's going on? And like, <laughs> yeah, how do I fix this? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow, so 15, wait, oh, 1,500. 1.5 million Pokestops visited. Yeah. That's insane. 1.8 million Pokemon caught. Dude, what? 31,000 kilometers. I mean, this is just like, I don't even want to like, compare this to my account, honestly. That's just, um, that's incredible. Bad enough. <laughs> <laughs> this is, he's obviously the, the better, the better branded out of the two things here. Oh, and then also your badges as well. So I wanted to look at some badges too, because I mean, obviously you've got a lot of event badges. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the, oh God, can I click on the raid medals? See whatever you want to see. <laughs> okay, yeah, so. You already are about to delete my account anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well look at it before it goes. Okay, so I mean the raid badges are gonna be something as well because like that is a very, very obviously grindy part of the game. I pride myself in thinking that I have a lot of mm. platinum on the raid badge. Mm. So for yourself, 18,000 yeah. raids, <laughs> oh my God. I actually, I gained a lot of this during the pandemic because yeah, I was right. trying to do a lot of tier one and tier three raids to get overseas more to trade to Anti-Gladys and N. Oh. Yeah, 
so that they get Excel candy for themselves and I just get kind of rubbish Pokemon candy <laughs> Excel like Meowth <laughs> yeah. and whatever race they I just do, you know what I mean? Oh, you were just grinding those. Were yeah, you yeah, yeah, remote yeah. rates on those too or just your dailies? It has to be remote, man. Yeah, Otherwise, right. I can't, it can't be overseas. Yeah, right? oh, right, and true. So giving them overseas mods. Wow, yeah. wow. Okay. That's what I was doing. That's a crazy grind. So I was averaging maybe around 100, 120 tier 1 and 3 rates a day just oh for my. them to get their Excel candy. Like not even including the legendary rates, just the tier no. ones. No, including legendary is probably close to 200 rates a day during the... <laughs> Oh my yep. god, 45,000 <laughs> yeah. legendary raids. But just a note that this is not actually the highest in the world. There's someone else with like double the amount of what I have. Yeah. 90,000 raids? Well, that's close to 100,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> it's me, actually. It's me. That's, oh. that's my alt account. Yeah, right. Yeah, all right. Vela 7. Dollar 7. Exactly. Dude, that's right. Wait, okay, so then also, too, out of all of your badges, is there one. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I want to check one before I ask this question. The eggs. 80,000 hatch, man. I'm trying for 100,000, bro. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, with all these like seven kilometer events. No, the problem is I'm not buying incubators because the boxes are trash. They actually are so bad. They're yeah. so bad. Okay. Gosh. And then out of all of your badges, what would be the one platinum or the one badge that like you're the proudest of or that you or the, that was the most difficult to achieve? I would say in terms of numbers, that's quite in insane. Is this. Oh my god. Very master. What? I don't even know if I have. Oh, I, I did. I recently got this one platinum and I was like, yeah, 15,000. I did it. 1.1 <laughs> million berries. 1.1 yeah. million. Yeah. I, check your platinum badge on your berry master and yeah. comment down below what you have. Just a note, because I live and do most of my activities in Singapore, Singapore is a place that's very hard to hold gyms. So if you compare this Barry Master with my gym medal hours, which is which is this gym leader, oh my, my gym leader is actually very low. Really? Right? And I, I would say <laughs> no, I would say roughly thirty-five thousand to forty hours were done overseas. No way. Yeah. Oh my god. So Singapore okay. is like less than twenty thousand hours. Is it just because gyms get battled? So yeah, 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 yeah. Right. If you can last for one hour here in Singapore, it's really very good. That's what she said. Okay. I can last for 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I can see from the badge. Yeah. Nice. How is the local community here in Singapore? It's okay. I wouldn't say we are doing too bad, but um, it, we actually suffered a huge blow in terms of the Pokestops and gyms. We just recently got our Pokestops and gyms removed by around five to six hundred of those. It's called Singapore Tourism Board. Those sponsored Pokestops were actually removed. And uh, the place that I used to play at back uh, when I was still playing at dual residences, right. um, the area that I used to play had 16 gyms. Now it became just four. 16 to four? Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. And the number of Pokestops reduced by three and a half times. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's ridiculous. All right. Why they is sponsorship contract ends, man. Yeah, right. You know, that's so it, too. That's it. Wow. Wow. God. Well, I do want to go into... So those are the stats. I mean, the stats are absolutely incredible. I mean, again, 3.4 billion XP <laughs> is just... Like, I think I think I just hit 250 million, and I was like, let's go, you know? Prepare for 500 million. That's level 60. That's level 60? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mathematically, would that... Uh, no, just... Oh, just to be ready? Okay, <laughs> yeah. Okay, for sure, for sure. You're like level 1600, so <laughs> like at this point. <laughs> okay, so I want to look into your account as well. Is it cool if we poke around? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Oh. There we go. Wow, wow. Oh my... G Wait. What I feel like your Stardust amount mm -hmm. is relatively low. Yes. Because... Okay. I have yep. powered up a crazy number of Pokemon. You have 450 level 50 Pokemon? Yeah, and this is not all. I still have some of them that I've not labeled yet, so it's roughly around 440, 450. Yeah, these are all level 50 Pokemon. Oh my, actually this was one of the questions I wanted to ask. This is perfect. Over 400 plus level 50s. Yeah. Jeez. Wow, the Shadow Mewtwo, yeah. Do you just have, how many Shadow Mewtwo did you level? Ac actually, one? I haven't labeled the other two, hence why I said that I kind of need to label those. Three level 50 Shadow Mewtwo. These are ridiculous. And you still have 361 XL candies left over. <laughs> nice. Oh my God, these are so expensive to power up. That's wild. Okay, so I, I wanted to poke around on some specific things, but before I do that, I wanted to ask you, in your account, What's your favorite Pokemon? If you had a one favorite Pokemon you could pick. I'd eat. Eat? Eat. <laughs> oh, yes! Wow, yes, this is the, the merch too, right? Yeah, yeah my exactly. CP10 PP! Wow, it's shiny! <laughs> and it's so Gold Plus, bro. It's Gold Plus. Oh, you go Plus? Yeah. This. Wow, in 2019 as well. This is old. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, this is my first shiny PG. This is your, this is iconic, man. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and you've walked 2,200 kilometers with it. This is the OG. Yeah, man. Oh my gosh, what, 36,000 yeah. Pidgey candy? I mean, you remember back in the day when evolving Pidgeys was the only way to... Correct. Yeah, but now the right? question is where are the PGs? Where are they, Niantic? Where are they? Speaking of eating XP, drinking shinies. Okay, so we saw the, the Stardust account amount. What are you usually at with Stardust? Where, you, where do you usually try to float around? 
Actually, last time I used to tell myself that it has to be above 20 million, but eventually oh I continued using it for videos and eventually it just went down and went down. And eventually I used my startup until it went down to almost zero. Yeah, right. Okay. So eventually wow. I slowly built it up to 10 million and now it has gone down to 6 million because I used like 2 million startups to recently to actually solo Gus Lord. Oh, you so, soloed. Oh yeah, my gosh! So right, hence, right. Uh, the startups has gone down. Oh my yeah. gosh! Wow, and so okay, so these are your top CP. <laughs> I just think it's funny that you have a slacking as the number. <laughs> like, is this a hundo as well? Yes. Oh my gosh! Yeah, wow, yeah. wow, legendary. Five thousand ten CP. You guys like looking down here. This is oh, this is so cool. Is yeah. this a hundo too? Yep. I mean, of course, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, actually, that's one thing I'm curious about: is how many one hundred percent ID Pokemon can you have? Can I search? Yeah, go ahead. Do whatever you want. Okay. Uh, yeah. Other than deleting the account, I'm just. <laughs> no, I mean you wanted to do. <laughs> Wait, go ahead, man. I mean, a better idea was for him to actually change the nickname to Vela Seven. Dude, imagine! Oh, oh he gosh, didn't thought of that. Wait, 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 <laughs> God, okay, four star. A thousand? You have a thousand hundos? You want to tell? You want me to tell you something? Yeah. Actually, I've transferred maybe close to nine or. 900 to 1,000 hundos or so. No way! <laughs> yeah. Dude, I have like 300, I think I have 200 something hundos and I've played like all this whole thing. So what is, what is your, okay, this is a great, what is your strategy behind getting perfect 100% IV Pokemon or high IV Pokemon? I mean, most of them are red, so if you actually type N red, roughly 140 of them are red. But this right. was only accounted after um, 2020, October 2020, so before that there were some from Red or so, but if you talk about even Hatched or so, you can see, you can type Hatched, this is my Hundo Hatched, oh I my hatched gosh. 207, wow, so 100% you, IV Pokemon. I mean, you, you just, oh my god, yeah. you hatched this? Yeah. You hatched a Shundo? Yeah. Oh my god. You, you think that's amazing? Uh. Three, so that's awesome. <laughs> and you've met level 50 to two, man. That's incredible. Yeah. Wow. Zoe would love this, man. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. yeah I, have, I have a Togepi yeah. for her, actually. Oh, that's so great. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And this one too, three hatched Shundos. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, that's the question. Shundos. Oh my god. Nineteen. Have you transferred any Shundos before? I'm not reversal, dude. <laughs> okay, what right. are you talking about? Well, I don't know. Dude, I, I want to transfer away a Shundo yeah. rich eyes. Okay. I watched the video of you transferring like four Shadow Shiny Bag on though. And that's that's like almost as crazy. But they are not handles. If they are handles, they're definitely <laughs> wooden, right, bro? <laughs> right, right. A fair, dude. Oh my god, this is insane! Wow, this is a really cool legendaries. Obviously, I'm just, I'm just I mean, from the raid grind and everything. I all the legendaries are not traded, so they're all like caught. Oh, really? Yeah, non-traded. Yeah, you is this is this your only trade? It's the only traded one. And you haven't evolved it. You just kept in the bag on it like that. Wait for event. Oh, true. Well, yeah, wait. right, right. Yeah. What's your favorite shundo out of all these? I would say it's this. It's my theme bird. Oh, you are Team Valor, huh? Yeah. You ever thought about making the switch? Let me think about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah get back to me. Right? Yeah, yeah, get right, back right. to you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, wait, and then also, I mean, speaking of shinies, so we saw the hundos. I'd love to see the total shiny account. 1,200. 1,200, knowing that you've transferred over 2,300. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. But you've played all this time and played hard all this time, and you're so community oriented if you watch your videos and stuff. Um, obviously, it's got to be, you know, it's more than just the, the numbers in the game for you. What, what, what about the game is so exciting and so fun? If you talk about back in the year 2016 and 2017, when the grind was really really hard I would say it's really just grinding for the numbers and whatsoever for stats etc and 2018 it was still towards the grind also but eventually when I started making YouTube videos back in the year 2019 July for Pokemon Go Fest the Chicago yeah, and that was the yeah, first yeah. one I ever made before the pandemic hit um, I focus more on community and when you actually start focusing more on community and in fact for YouTube etc you have to slow down the grind because you don't right. have much time and energy to actually grind as hard as before Yeah. so you know um, I would say that over the past few years the last three years in fact during the pandemic I've just been focusing to grind a bit harder because I wasn't able to meet people but right. once the country started to open up and I was able to travel to countries like Thailand, Malaysia and other countries like Philippines etc. Then I started to uh, be less focused on the grind and started to interact more with people and try to um, you know play with people and hope that they can actually play the game longer and with uh, more people at the same time. You know? Yeah, yeah, cool. And do you, do you like host a lot of events yourself and, and go to a lot of community meetups or like so far, I've tried to attend all the community meetups, but not yeah. all the months we have it. Like, especially even this month, November, there wasn't any community meetup in Manila when we were there. Right. 
But uh, in Singapore, you know, I'm trying to hold some events, especially now during this particular period, the Safari Zone tomorrow. Yeah, right. Maybe the Safari Zone, right? Saturday and Sunday, actually, I'm hosting a raid session after the Safari Zone. Oh, huge. Yeah, Sweet. Yeah, yeah. So, Knocking out some Gus Lord. Uh, uh, Gus Lord, maybe some uh, tier one and threes too. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, get some those trades, mega you know? Garrett yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, you got this too as well. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. Okay, wait. I'm curious because I have watched you transfer a, an immense amount of Shadow Shinies. Now, that's obviously like a big grind in Pokemon Go is a Shadow Shiny grind. Yeah. How many have you transferred <laughs> out of 67? That's crazy. How many have I transferred? Probably 30? 30 Shadow Shiny. Yeah, just yeah. for like, why? Just because like... For videos? Yeah, for right, right. For space? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah right, right. Seriously. And, and is, is that yeah. one of the main issues that you run into with your account? Actually, not really. If you actually look at how many, how much space I have right now after you're done with that. Okay, wait, yeah. hold on. Let me just... I mean, this is just an insane yeah. collection. This is so cool. I actually, at one point, so I had more than... Bag on, wow. Bag on, I had more than 20, and then I transferred, <laughs> like, I think, 12 or 15. Oh my shiny Shadow Bag on. Have you got every Shadow Shiny that's ever come out, Luna? No, there are some that I missed, like Shiny Shadow Meow, for example, I did not get. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, the reason why I have caught so many Shadow Shiny Bagons is because if you actually look at here, under the Pokédex, look at the Purify. <laughs> oh my gosh, man, you grinded that! Yeah, and, I, and I still have 200 Shadow Bagons in my storage. Are you waiting so, for like TM frustration or are you no, gonna transfer them? Or no, I'm gonna purify them and evolve them and then transfer away to get more Candy XL. Nice. Because okay. when you evolve a Pokemon, you get a chance for Candy XL. Right, right, right. When they go up to level 25, after purifying, when you transfer them, there's a higher chance to get Candy XL also. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm planning wow. to do that on an event. An increased so, XL chance yeah, right. event. Yeah, four times increased chance XL event. Well, so how, yeah. how was that to win, when, when uh, I'm just gonna like, poke through your, your account as well. Oh yeah, 61. Yeah, so you have some space. I still have space, and right. if I can make space like right now immediately, all right, because uh, these are Pokemon, I'm gonna can transfer all these 200 Pokemon over here. This is a search tag that I use, specially designed for oh. myself, to transfer all these Pokemon away that I do not want. After that, when I go back here, everything that did not get transferred away using that filter are Pokemon that I want to trade for Candy XL, like Swinab, like Snorlax, Lapras. Oh my gosh. Uh, for, uh, Poplio, etc. Yeah, yeah. And Liki Tang. That's for GBL. So oh. what I just did, it doesn't nice. transfer. Yeah, and a nice CP nice. too. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's really. And, and did you like formulate that yourself, or like did you like? Because yeah. that was a long thread, and you can save that. Yeah. <laughs> How did you, you do that? You can save your own search threads inside. Yeah, you can save it. Oh, so really? Save it. Wait, you can. It's my job to play this game for a living, and I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> okay, no. tutorial 101. In order to save it, you basically just hold down the button here, like this, hold a long press, and it just saves over here. If you want to edit it, you just hold it long press, and you can rename it or remove it. <laughs> You're welcome. Remove this, and it's goodbye. That's a feature? Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> I had no idea, dude. That's actually a thing. That... I'm so thankful I'm not on Team Mystic. Oh, oh my yeah, god. I'm not really representing too well for my team right now, dude. That's gonna save my life. Wow, well, there you go. There's a great top pro professionals. I can't believe that's actually a thing. You know, I just recently learned that you can like move your tags around. You can hold down and move the tag. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty uh, uh, good. <laughs> oh my god. That is life changing. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Dude, dude, you mean you have been manually trying yes. to. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> yes! It's like gonna change my life. Yeah, so I have almost 800 uh, storage space available now. Right. Yeah, despite having a lot of Pokemon to keep. And in fact, if you type one dot here, these are Pokemon that I kind of prepared for PvP. Uh -huh. Right, Great League and Master League. You can see all these are Great League. This, are mo the most of them have a second move unlocked. So that's where all oh, my Stardust wow. went to also. Oh, and do these were like 1,000 Pokemon mainly? E yeah. <laughs> How much Stardust do you think you've spent in total in Pokemon Go? Estimated now maybe 560 million. Oh my Gosh. Yeah. Is there a stat that tracks so much Stardust you've No, I feel like that, that is the no problem. Right? Yeah, 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 that, that should yeah. definitely be a thing. Wow, 560 million, that is yeah. wild. Do you have any shiny zeros? Shiny zeros. Actually, I never bothered about zero IVs, but... Oh, really? Um, I have a few shadow zeros. Okay, cool. Well, these are the zeros. Okay, yeah. sweet. Oh, and they're all shadows. You just have shadow zeros. Oh, my God. Oh, and the chin chow. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, my God. It's 50, by the way. <laughs> you have 50 max to zero percent. That's incredible. <laughs> That's so good. Do you have any, uh, do you have any, like, like, glitched Pokemon? Glitched Pokemon? Yeah, I don't know, like, like, weird Zerua or, like, Pokemon oh, no. that were, like, released that shouldn't have been released or, like, like just random, like, super rare glitched stuff. Or, like, location tags from places uh, that don't have Pokemon. Okay, let me see, yeah. Okay. Pseudo? Oh, no. <laughs> You're gonna transfer them? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, wait! Yeah, this is a glitched Pokemon, guys. <laughs> the one that I got wow. in 2018 when wow. I did a trade with I think I, I think you gave me a Pidgey, and I, I know I still have that. That's definitely still <laughs> yeah, on my yeah, account. Yeah. Wow! That's yeah. cool. It's glitched. Is it? Yeah, it is. 
What makes it glitch? Because when I traded for it, immediately the name turned into Mystic Sam. <laughs> wow. I remember that glitch back in the day. That was a good one, you know? Oh my gosh. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. Wow. I'm glad you didn't transfer that. You did yeah. delete me off your friends list, but I'm glad you didn't transfer that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, so explain your strategy with that too, because in Pokemon Go, adding people as friends is one of the best ways to get XP. Correct. So if you look at the best friend meadow, the Ido meadow, which is the handshake meadow over here. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Dude, that's like millions and millions of XP. That's Correct. insane. So it's close to a billion. Each time <laughs> you actually get each time you actually get a best friend up uh, each time you get to a best friend, right. the total amount of XP you get is roughly around three hundred and sixty thousand. We've lucky it starting on, from on zero. Every one of them, right? Correct. Yeah, right. So if you do the mathematics with this, it's almost a billion. It's almost <laughs> oh nine hundred million. Alright. So how you actually ref uh, refresh your friendship is like what me and Mystic Seven we did actually I did was that after we hit best friends, I removed him from my friend. List, Mine wait broke. 121 days, okay, and then we re add, and your friendship will restart to zero. Oh, when you actually do that and build up the best friends again, you right. get all the XP again. I didn't know that, yeah. Wow, well, I think it's been over 121 days if you want to be friends again. Yeah, let me think about it. <laughs> <laughs> God, well, that's crazy. So, one almost one third of your total XP is just from the friendship, in a way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's in incredible. So, if you were to give a tip to, I guess, just trainers in general, how to gain XP in Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. Would it just be simply just adding people as friends? Friendship, yeah. Friendship is definitely the most economical way to do it. Of course, if you want to do it the fastest, is to just uh, lucky and legendary rates and mega rates all the way. Right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then, and then when it comes to Stardust, because I mean, Stardust obviously is like one of the hardest thing to gain mm -hmm. in game. You spend over five hundred million. <laughs> Any strategies on like getting the most Stardust possible? Whenever you can, please play with a Pokemon Gold Plus or Pokemon Ball Plus. Yep. Right, that really helps a lot. Like now, mine is turned off, but it's actually in my pocket over here. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's in my pocket. But it's not working. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, it's the ball plus, dude. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. John just excited to see me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop looking at my other ball. Like, yeah. Okay, man. You ha having that is really good. And of course, uh, during triple catch status events, especially community days, etc., it's really, really important to put a star piece down and catch as much as you can. Um, learn the fast catch, learn the AR fast catch. You can yeah. catch over 300 Pokemon per hour with that. And back then, when I wasn't able to, uh, didn't even know about AR fast catching, catching roughly around 200 Pokemon per hour is still good. Oh uh, most importantly, is you actually set a number of Pokemon that you want to catch a day right? and then you hit that goal and then you slowly climb towards it especially uh, also knowing which Pokemon actually has a boosted Stardust gain yeah. example like Star U, Sable Eye etc is important especially during certain spotlight hours etc I would say that even having a boosted Mon so Stardust wise is better than playing a triple catch Stardust event at times or so Wow really? Mm -hmm. Yeah Wow, He's better. that's a huge strat too, one that I need because I have like under a million Stardust right now, I think, so. And then, so when it comes to like you and your history with Pokemon Go and I guess like, like being a top player, what records have you set and do you still own any or have any records? I mean, people would say that I'm the first person to hit 1 billion XP. Yeah, right. 2 billion and 3 billion XP. Yeah. Yeah, so I was probably also the, one of the first few people to also reach uh, 1 million catches. Did Fleece King beat you to level 50? Oh, that was because it's time zone. Oh, right, okay, yeah, for so sure. So that's something that no no one else can beat other than the people in New in Zealand. In Australia, right? In New yeah, Zealand, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, for me also, I didn't bother about like chasing uh, to go up to level 50 soon. In fact, there were people in later time zones than me, like in America, who actually reached level 50 before me. What was the, your What was your thing with level 50? Because I was trying to get Auntie Gladys and end up to level 50 first. Cool! You know? So, because Auntie Gladys, she can't throw excellent throw, to do the 999 excellent throw is a huge task for her. Uh -huh. So what I did was I re all day long to only fight Suikuns and she could do the extend trolls for, for the entire day yeah. and we took an extra day to actually go up to level 50. Oh sick, okay yeah. that's fun. So that's what I did. Wow that's so cool, yeah. like way, way more like community than like grind and get nah. there. That's good, yeah. you know. That's good, wow. What is the in-game stat that you're the most proud of? I mean I would say probably the XP. Yeah definitely. That's, that's one, but that's if you're talking about a specific meadow, this one, which I'm trying to get to 500. Wow, oh my buddy. gosh. I never, I've never bought Poffin. What? I've never bought Poffins. And you're at 499? Yeah. I've bought Poffins yeah. all the time and I'm, I'm like, I don't even think I have this one yet. <laughs> like, like, wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wait, I haven't, I haven't even like scrolled through your badges yet. Yeah. Wanna just scroll around? Yeah, go ahead, man. Holy. Okay. Yeah. Right? Kind of low, honestly. But, like, you only caught 151. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get to 152. <laughs> yeah, still trying to find a meal three. <laughs> yeah. God, yeah, the 1.8 million, 142,000 evolves. I mean, yeah. back in the day, evolving Pokemon was yes. the only way to gain XP, really. Correct. Like the best way. You had 80,000 hatches, 1.5 million spun. Mm -hmm. 
35,000 unique Pokestops. Yeah. That's incredible. Okay, this Gosh. one went up a lot because we've been traveling a lot. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. You had a huge travel year this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's yeah. that been? The whole, like... Very good so far for the right. last six and a half months with my girlfriend. And uh, we still have a lot of plans for next year. Huge. See you guys to at all the Safari Zone and Go Fans. And again, he uploads daily, so make sure to check out his YouTube channel because all that good stuff and all the grind is over there for Fisher. sure. Fisher, oh my gosh, fifty-five hundred big magic card cheese. <laughs> Most people don't even have this in gold. Like that's incredible. By the way, you can trade. That's it. Yeah. Wait, a what's your any trade any magic card that's thirteen point thirteen kilograms and above uh -huh. will be considered a large magic card. Wow. And you can trade for that with your friends and you will add to the count also. Yeah, wait, your trade badge, where's where's trades? Trade is here. Yeah, right there. Gentlemen. Right? 76,000 trades? Yeah. Oh my, I don't know, I didn't think to look at this because you, you do do like a lot of like Excel yeah. candy grinding Correct. and trading. Wait, wait, so my, my question with, with trading, so obviously like with Pokemon Go, XP was like the main currency for the longest time. Yep. How big did the game change for, I guess, top players when Excel candies were released? Once my team, as in me, Anti Gladys and N, we all hit 1 billion XP, and then uh, level 50 wasn't out yet. I asked them a question. I asked Auntie Gladys and, and do you guys still want to go up to two billion? And they said, no, uh, they are enough yeah. to hit one billion already. So I told them my job is in, is done also. I'm not going to push as crazy as, as before. But when XL Candy was introduced in the game, we told ourselves, well, that's the new grind. If you don't continue to bring your Pokemon up to level 50, you're going to be stuck at level 40 as a level 50 trainer. Right. And to me, that's not exactly being a level 50 trainer. Uh -huh. So hence why we actually focus a lot more on uh, Excel candy yeah, yeah. than XP nowadays really. Like, would you yeah. say like most top players kind of focus on the XL? Yeah, I would say more than 80%, I dare say wow. for a fact, more than 80% of the top 1% Tao players out there are more focused on Excel candy than XP. Wow, definitely, no huge, definitely. huge. So it like completely changed the game. Yeah, it definitely system. completely changed. Yeah. Wow. Okay, wait, and then one big question too. <laughs> Out of all the places, you've been all over for Pokemon Go, you've grinded mm. in all the best spots. Where is your favorite place that you've played Pokemon Go? You mean country-wise or a particular area? I guess maybe both, I don't know. Like oh. what country and what particular space, like particular grind spot. If you say country-wise, I would say it's Japan. Japan, yeah, seriously, okay, right. is one of the craziest places to play Pokemon Go because there are just so many spawns all around the city yeah when you are in tokyo it's just insane other than if you were to go to the mountainous area like the ski resorts etc because i did go to the ski resort back in 2016 and there was oh, practically cool. nothing there are still yeah. gyms etc <laughs> right. there but really if you want to play at the craziest spot is like tokyo at some of the crazy parks etc yeah but if you're talking about a specific spot or should i say uh, more of a specific event um i would say probably go fast 20 uh, 18 or 2019. Yeah, really, that yeah. was your favorite? Go yeah, Fresh 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That the was good, is good and everything, yeah. Right, those were fun. Yeah, correct. Especially when we could still qu catch question mark and own. Yo, how, how many of those do you, do you have any left? Oh, yeah, I have left. Here, here, here. <laughs> One on the head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really? I have zero in my you, account, bro. They're all gone. I, yeah. Oh, you only have 21 unknown. Oh, yeah, you, I transfer you transfer all your shinies, yeah. Yeah, so I actually had one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually had one. I actually had nine at question mark unowns, but I traded all of them away. Wow, no yeah. way. I traded all of them away. Wait, why? Oh, oh, I know why. I obviously just like to keep them out and everything. You didn't yeah, want to keep one for yourself? Correct. Wait, so why is this your buddy? Because if you do an appraisal on it, <laughs> wow. Oh, from WoW. That's... Taiwan. Oh, no way. You caught in the WoW. Oh, that was at Safari Zone too. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's sick. Well, dope, man. I mean, is there anything else in your account that, that you, you think is cool you want to show or like anything else that, that is like a flex or something you're proud of? Ah, okay. I mean, you're going to see... You have not gone, gone through all the medals. I mean, like, one more is probably this. Research medal. Oh, yeah, dude. What? 90, nearly, are you pushing for 100,000? Trying. I mean, you're close, I'm you might trying. as well, right? It's, it's not easy, especially when traveling and traveling to places yeah. that don't have a lot of Pokestops. Right. Yeah. 93,000. What, what days do you get the most done on? Probably uh, calm day, calm, huh? Calm day, last time I could do like maybe around 290 to 320 in oh three my hours. Oh gosh. Yeah, but <laughs> now crazy. it's not as easy as before already. Especially at calm day meetup when I don't venture out to different Pokestops, but I just play around a certain area. Right, exactly. You don't get to get more than a hundred Pokestops done, you know? Yeah, yeah, Compared yeah. to before. Wow, I mean, that's wild. I mean, that's wild and all these stats in here mm -hmm. are wild. You've, like, this is an incredibly impressive okay. overall collection and account. This one is also quite high. Oh my, 26,000 yeah. purified. How much Stardust is that, do you think? <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's insane. 79 million Stardust oh out of your ouch. Jeez, oh, jeez.
50. That is incredible. Wait, wait, what's your, your team rocket? Oh my god, 28,000. That's <laughs> wild. That's wild. Yeah, I mean, with all the Shadow Shinies, too, that's incredible. Dude, well, thank you for letting us poke around into your account no and, uh, and and showing off all that stuff. That yeah. is awesome. And again, he's got a YouTube channel as well. He uploads every day. Wait, how is that grinding and also uploading daily and traveling? That's like... Well, most importantly is to actually plan everything properly. I mean, Mystic7 does his planning really well. So like what I'm seeing from his phone, although it dropped, but I can see he plans <laughs> stuff really well. So I actually plan my stuff, my schedule, my upload schedule, when I can actually, um, you know, upload a video and even know the, the upload speed, etc. is very, very important. Right. Yeah, so other than that though, I would have to sacrifice on this if I would like to focus more on YouTube stuff right, that's most the of the time. Mm. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. And last question I have for you. What's your favorite Pokemon ever? Favorite Pokemon ever? PG! <laughs> EXP Drink Thanks. SD. Wait. Drink Stardust. Drink Stardust. Yeah, now actually it's beyond, we wanted to change it. EXL Drink Stardust. There it is. But we still find that EXP sounds nicer. It's Plus, like it's, nicer. it's the OG. You know? Yeah, it is the OG, true. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, well, thank you so much. Make sure to check out Brandon Tun's channel. Leave the description. Good luck on the ground, and I'll see you out there in Safari yeah. Zone this weekend. All right, all yours, man. See it. Wait, I need to. I keep the account. This is a good. You keep the mic, I'll keep the account. Yeah. All right. All right.